Today on One Tank Trips, we're here at the Hay House in Macon, Georgia. So grab your keys, fill up your tank, and let's go explore. Well, the Hay House was built by a man named William Butler Johnson and his wife, Anne. And they built the house following uh, their three-year grand tour of Europe in the 1850s. When they came back to Macon, they wanted to build a house built based on the structures they had seen while, while on tour. And Mr. Johnson himself was a very wealthy man. He made his wealth in the jewelry business. He was also heavily invested in banking, insurance, the railroad. He was a self-made millionaire. And they, he and his wife, Anne, got married in 1851. They wanted the three-year grand tour. They came back and they built this house. And the house was built between 1855 and 1859 and cost $100,000 to build. So today that'd be about $3.5 million. Then they spent another 100,000 basically furnishing and doing all the decorative painting. But they lived in the house um, following, after it was completed in 1859. They lived in the house until they both passed away in the late 1800s, at which point it was left to their youngest daughter, Mary Ellen, and her husband, Judge Felton. And they lived into the house until 1926, at which point the house was left to their son, William Felton Jr., who sold it to the Hay family. Uh, Mr. Hay was also a very wealthy man here in Macon. He made his wealth in the Bankers Health and Life Insurance Company. And he, he and his family lived here um, until his second wife passed away in 1962, at which point they decided to open up the house as, for tours in 1964 as a museum. And the house was owned by the Por Parksley Hay Foundation until 1977 when it was donated to the Georgia Trust for Store Preservation. And we're open seven days a week. We offer guided tours of all levels of the house. Um, we're open Monday through Saturday, 10 a.m. to 4, and Sundays from 1 till 4. For Robbins Air Force Base, I'm Angela Wollen.